Well, we're turning now to uh, something a bit more serious back in Utah. Everyone talking about Natalie Klein. Mm -hmm. She's that Utah Board of Education member. People across the political spectrum from the left and the right have been calling on her to resign after she posted on social media, seeming there to question the gender of a girls basketball player in Utah. It led to a flood of comments from people that were talking about the girl's appearance. Some now saying what Klein did is simply bullying. Many now high ranking Utah officials have released statements about Klein's post. The governor and lieutenant governor saying in part, quote, the last thing our children need is an elected official harassing them on social media. And quote, Klein has embarrassed the state of Utah and state board of education. Yeah, some pretty harsh terms there. A lot of people have been speaking about this. Klein has since taken the post down. She's put up a few different apologies, though I will say in her apologies, she also tries to justify her actions as well. Today, I even knocked on our door, sent her a list of questions. No response yet. We heard from the dad of that girl's basketball player. He told us it's been a nightmare to see his child attacked like this. I'm scrolling through into seeing all this hate and then just like realizing this is hate towards our child which made it even worse. It's like, hey, I am the father of this girl. And yes, she is a girl. She was born a girl. She knows she's a girl. She's never taken any kind of medications or had any medical procedures to be a boy. She's naturally muscular. She goes to the gym. She has short hair because that's what she likes. Wow, a, a father having to defend the appearance of his daughter like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah.